Today we're reading Acts 28, verses 17 to 31. And it came to pass that after three days, Paul called the chief of the Jews together. And when they were come together, he said unto them, Men and brethren, who have committed nothing against the people or customs of our fathers, yet was I delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans, who, when they had examined me, would have let me go, because there was no cause of death in me. But when the Jews spake against it, I was constrained to appeal unto Caesar, not that I had aught to accuse my nation of. For this cause, therefore, have I called for you, to see you and to speak with you, because that for the hope of Israel I am bound with this chain. For they said unto him, We neither received letters out of Judea concerning thee, neither any of the brethren that came showed or spake any harm of thee. But we desire to hear of thee what thou thinkest. For as concerning the sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. When they appointed him a day, there came many to him into his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets, from morning till evening. And some believed the things which were spoken, and some believed not. When they agreed not among themselves, they departed, after that Paul had spoken one word. Well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet unto our fathers, saying, Go unto this people, and say, Hearing, ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing, ye shall see, and not perceive. For the heart of this people is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. He had known, therefore, unto you, the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles, and that they will hear it. When he had said these words, the Jews departed, and had great reasoning among themselves. And Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house, and received all that came in unto him, preaching the kingdom of God, and teaching those things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ, with all confidence, no man forbidding him. As soon as Paul gets settled in at Rome, he follows a standard practice that he did in every city. He gathers the Jews into the, in the area to preach to them. He begins by assuring them that he had done nothing against Israel or the Jewish customs, likely assuming they had heard some of the lies that the Jerusalem leaders had told. The Roman Jews told him they had not received news of any of this, but they were curious to hear what he thought about Christianity, or the sect, as they called it. So they set up a day for Paul to share with them, and just as he had done everywhere else, he taught them from the law and the prophets, how Jesus was the promised Messiah. His teaching went on all day, and Luke tells us that some believed and some didn't. Paul ends the discussion with a quote from Isaiah. That quote is about Israel being dull of hearing and having their eyes closed, unwilling to see what God was doing among them. Then he said, Be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles, and that they will hear it. It mentions that the Jews left at that point continuing to debate among themselves. And then Luke concludes the book with two little verses telling us that Paul sent two whole years in Rome, in Rome, not in a prison, but in a house he had rented. He was basically under house arrest, but was allowed to have visitors, so he continued to preach to everyone that he had the opportunity with. What happens after the book of Acts? Well, we know bits and pieces. We have reason to believe that Paul was released and allowed to continue his missionary work again. After this is when he would have written letters to Timothy and Titus. After a few more years of ministry, Paul would be arrested again. This time he would not be treated kindly. Instead of a rented room, he was locked in a prison like a criminal. This being around the time that Nero was beginning to blame Christians for a lot of things. We do not know exactly how Paul died. Tradition tells us that he was beheaded in Rome. All we know for sure is that he died, but the gospel message still goes on today. I hope you've enjoyed this devotional journey through Acts. I know I have. The book of Acts started with Jesus' ascension and the coming of the Holy Spirit. It ends with Paul continuing to preach. And the message continues with each of us today as we allow the Holy Spirit to enable us to share the gospel with everyone we meet.